Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome into the video today and just wanted to give you guys a little announcement that whenever we hit a thousand subs on the YouTube channel, we're going to be doing a massive crowns giveaway. It's going to be insane and it should be pretty easy to hit because literally 83% of you guys who watch the videos aren't even subscribed yet. So just do a little favor, get us closer to that 1000 sub goal, click that subscribe button, you know, it's free to do so, so why not? And anyways, enjoy the video. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome into the video today. A little bit different uh, kind of video here for you guys that have uh, you know been watching the Glacial Dune series. And for those that don't know, that series is a series that I'm doing over on Twitch slash YouTube with uh, one of my best friends, Sorox, aka Sokami TV, over on Twitch. Um, this is a really fun series. It's a duo ice and balance playthrough that we're doing. And um, we have just hit and finished the level 60 dungeons on our, uh, our characters. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys uh, today the level 60 through 99 ice gear guide. Now this is going to be the not the overall best possible gear you can get, but I wanted to show you guys just the gear that I'm running. I think it's a really good setup, and I, I hope that it uh, just you know helps out in any way possible for those who are looking for a gear and deck setup guide for ice. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. Um, I'm going to show you guys all the stats after I go through the gear. But starting off with the hat, we have the frostbit hood. From Waterworks. Now this hat is really really good. Um, it is a direct upgrade from the level 50 Malastare hat. You get more resist, more crit, more accuracy, more health. You know you drop a little bit of damage but this hat is just better and it is worth getting. Best hat for level 60 for ice. Alright next is going to be the robe. We have the tunic of upper zigzag. The robe dropped from Amit the Devourer in the House of Scales dungeon in the, uh, the zigzag part of Krakatopia when you unlock at level 60. This is just the best robe. I mean, you get power pip, accuracy, resist, crit, damage. You even get this freaking um, mass ice prism card, which is just really good to have because you can't really train this until you get to like level 70 something. I can't really remember exactly, but I mean, it's just the fact that you can get this at level 60 from a robe is just really, really, really good. So yeah, best robe. Um, if you can't pull this one because the drop rate on this robe is really, really low. I got lucky and was able to pull it. Um, the frostbit cape or waterworks robe can work just as good as well as the winter test crafted robe you know either one is good but this is the best robe for level 60 on ice up next we have the boots now let me just go ahead i know this is a crownless playthrough um these boots were gotten for free from a pack that i was that i received i uh, happened to pull the boots um chat was okay with it we did a we did a poll we voted that i was able to use these since i did obtain them for free but yeah lydia's frozen foot wraps from the professor's horde pack just hands down the best boots at level 60. i mean you get power pip resist accuracy crit uh damage i mean just literally everything and you know if you can't get these you know by any means you can get the waterworks boots you know these are these aren't as good i mean you lose a lot of damage on these ice's gear is just trash you just this awful stats um or you can get the malastare level 50 boots now these are the tier 2 boots there is a tier better but i think you're just like a it's like a barely a dam like one damage increase or something like that a little bit of a health increase but you know these are really good too so if you're not able to get the lydia's foot wraps i would probably say get these from uh from malastare at level 50. now to the wand pretty straightforward sky iron hosta 10 damage power pip i mean just the best wand you can get until level 100 pretty much um, and then we have the bear's claw of ice this can be found in the bazaar. It should be in there. It, it rotates pretty frequently through the bazaar. Um, and the jewels that I have are all level 55 jewels. Uh, health, two pierce jewels, and then an accuracy jewel. But yeah, I mean, this is just a really good of fame for level um, level 56. Or, well, level 60. I got it at 56. Um, up next, we have the amulets. Now, the one that I'm using here is the Shango's Ice Blade amulet. Really, really good. You can find this in the bazaar, but it is insanely expensive. Um, there's also a vendor that sells it in the Baobab marketplace in Zafaria. I'll put that up on screen. You can see what her name is. Um, but she also sells it. It's a pretty expensive price too. But it's worth it because it gives you a 45% Ice Blade item card. It, that's just a really, really good blade to have, especially for ice. Any means of increasing our damage is, you know, very, very useful. So it's a very good card to have. Um, on the other hand, if you want to get this, you can also get the Jewel of the Faint. This gives an item card faint that is, you know, also very good, um, alternatively to the Shango's Ice Blade Amulet. But, yeah, you know, two pretty good options here for level uh, level 60 ice. Now we have the ring, the Sapphire Ring of Battle. Um, you know, 
This is in the Bazaar too, just like the Bear's Claw of Ice. Just check periodically. It should should find its way in there. You should be able to buy it. But yeah, I mean, good stats. 18% power pip is really good on this uh, ring. Um, and then, of course, just socketed that Health Jewel, uh, Pierce Jewel. And then I didn't really have any good Square Jewels, so I just put a Storm Flat Resist Jewel in there. So that's pretty much all I did for that. Um, up next, we have the pet. Um, we have a Quint Damage Mighty pet with a Sharpened Blade item card. Obviously, this pet is a Crown's pet, but you can get a um, Enchanted Armament that also gives a Sharpened Blade card. So this is there's other ways to obtain this. Mainly, I wanted the pet for this card because this card is really good to have at level 60 since you can't train Sharpened Blade until level 86. Any way that Ice can get more damage is, uh, you know, really, really good. So as many damage talents as I could find, put it on the pet, and there you go. And lastly, we have the deck, which is dropped by Belosh, which is the stone key boss in the House of Scales dungeon in Zigzag. It is the uh, set of the Ravenous Teeth. There are three versions. The best one is the one with the triangle slot, which is like I have. You can socket another accuracy jewel. And as well as it gives seven universal copies of spells um, that you can use. It's just, it's just a massive deck too. And it also comes with that additional 1% accuracy too. So it's just, it's just a really good deck to have um, for level 60. The drop rate is pretty is okay he drops a lot of decks but of course you're looking for a very specific one so it's going to be hard to get but if you have stone skeleton keys i would say you know do a couple runs of belosh and see if you can pull this deck because it's really really good now going into the stats 92 damage you know many damage stats as i could 92 is pretty pretty high for level 60 i would say especially for an ice we have 31 universal resist and that five additional resist for ice that come from the boots uh we have 21 percent accuracy so i do not fizzle any spells which is very nice very nice, because those that have watched the Glacial Dunes playthrough know that I fizzle a lot during that. So not being able to fizzle anymore is a very nice feeling. Um, we got 141 crit, 12 block, 6% pierce, and then we have 78 power pip. Now, I know this is a little low, but I did want to prioritize accuracy because I did not want to fizzle anymore. So I had to use those jewel slots on accuracy instead of pips. But, you know, you still should get power pips a, a decent amount of the time. You know, you're going to fail pip every now and then, but... 78% is not horrible, um, but, you know, obviously it could be better, but it just sucks. The gear just doesn't give a lot of power pip. I mean, it's just it's just how it is. Um, lastly, I want to show you guys the deck setup. Now, this deck setup is what I would run if I was soloing as an ice. Obviously, for the playthrough, I'm with my friend and doing a duo playthrough. I'll show you guys that in a second, but this will be the deck setup that I'd run as a solo. Obviously, you have your two hits with your enchants. You have the two ice blades, one sharp in here for one of the ice blades, Got my Faint, got my Elemental Blade, and then I have that Shango's Ice Blade here from the uh, the Amulet, and then an additional Sharpen for the Elemental Blade, just in case you need, you know, in case you need another blade or something, or, you know, if, if, a, if your blades get removed or something like that, I don't know, whatever situation happens. Um, as for the sideboard, this is more of a utility kind of thing. So I have some hits here, some TC hits, just in case, you know, things go bad in the battle. Some TC Blades, Pierce in case they shield, um, Reshuffle in case things go just horribly and you need to just restart everything have that sleet storm aura which is you know just in in case you need additional buff as well as faints too for bosses that just have a ton of health in case you need to double faint the boss that having that tc faint is nice or you can just switch over to the jewel of the faint amulet and put that additional item card faint in your deck to have a double faint there um and then of course some elemental blades here too as a you know just another blade to have another buff to have in case uh you need it um, if I was going in as a uh, with as a team, um, I would just take this out and I would take one of these out, and I would have seven cards. So I pull everything turn one. More so because I'm the hitter on this series for the most part, and he does more of the support. So I don't really need all that utility and support because he's gonna put that and blade me and faint and stuff like that, and I can just focus on blading up a couple times and then just hitting and just having everything pulled. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the level uh, 60 ice gear. Set up that I'm going to be running until level 90 when we can change out our uh, our ring and a theme. And then, of course, another once again at level 100 when we finally do a big gear overhaul. I'll probably make another video for that, so stay tuned for that once we hit there in the series. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and uh, peace.